Hi everyone, my name is Sebi. I'm a developer advocate for Ivan. In this video, we're going to see how we can combine two great technologies. On one side, Terraform that enables you to create infrastructure with code, infrastructure as code. And on the other side, GitHub Action, a really popular CI solution to build whatever needs to build or deploy whatever needs to be deployed. Okay, by doing this, we can have some cool stuff like creating infrastructure following a GitOps approach. Okay, for this example, I will use one particular Terraform provider, the Ivan Terraform provider, but what I will show you is pretty generic and should work with any Ivan Terraform provider. Ready? Okay, let's go. So. What I have here is a GitHub repo because that's what you will need to have, of course, to uh, version control your Terraform resources. By the way, I will share this repo in the descriptions so you can fork it and play with it. First of all, most important stuff is um, our Terraform resources, okay? Uh, I told you I'm going to use the, the Ivan Terraform provider. So here I have my uh, provider. Uh, file, okay, and just pay attention here for Ivan, for instance, I need a token, okay? So I will need to tell GitHub Action how to use this token. We will come back later on this. And of course, then I have my main Ivan resource. In this case, I'm going to create a Kafka cluster with one topic, okay? And to be completely honest, I already have committed this file. So that means that I already have my Kafka service running here. You can see it's the same name. And if you take a look here, I should have one topic, customer topic. And if I go to topic, I get my customer topic. Okay. Um, what we are going to do, I'm going to explain you how the GitHub action looks like, okay? And then we will just add a topic to my resource, commit it, and it should appear here. So let's go back to our GitHub repo. So that is classic Terraform stuff. Let's go now to the specific GitHub action stuff. My GitHub action is defined in this folder here, .github slash workflow. Let's go there. And let's take a look at my YAML file that defines my GitHub action. There we go. So I give it a name and um, I say, okay, you should run this action every time that I do a push, okay? You could do what I, whenever I do a pull request or something like that. But for now, when I push, I want it uh, to run this action. I can set some environment variable. And remember, I told you there's a really important one for the Ivan provider, which is the Ivan API token. Okay, so look at here, I just prefix it with tfvar and I point to a secret. Where is the secret coming from? We will see that in a few seconds. And then I have my job, of course, the, 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 the core part of my action. And look at this, I have out of the box for me, okay, a job called Terraform Deploy. That is exactly what I want to do. I say, well, let's run that on an Ubuntu um, box. And the steps is really simple. Here, I don't define any particular steps. By default, it will check all my Terraform resources and run them. Of course, I could filter them there. This step, you should, you might think, hey, what's that? Well, you know that Terraform uses a state. When you run it locally, it maintains a state to see when you do changes, it compares the state. So in GitHub Actions, we need to find a way to have a state, okay? Because otherwise, GitHub Action is pretty much stateless. What we're going to do here is at each end of a job, we will create an artifact Okay, you can create artifacts in GitHub uh, actions like a jar file or an NPM module. But in this case, our artifact will be the Terraform state. Really handy. And it just needs an encryption, encryption key that we also 
uh, use the secrets for. Let's go take a look how we can define those secrets. So I just go here to my settings of my project. Okay. And um, if I scroll down here, I get something called secrets and variables. Okay. For my actions. Okay. That's what I want. And we should see here that I have two secrets. I got Ivan token. Okay. So here you will put your token from Ivan. Okay. Or for ever provider that needs a token, you can put it here. And for my state here, I will use, I created an encryption key. You put whatever you want in the encryption key. Okay. So we should be ready now. And what I can do is go to my code, go to my Kafka Terraform. And well, in a real life situation, I will be using my IDE. Okay. Um, but here for demo purposes to make the, the video more smooth, I will be directly editing this resource here. Okay. So I go here, I edit this and I will just add a new topic. Okay. So I just grab this, I copy this and, uh, let me add another topic life. coding, something like that, because I'm more or less live coding. And let me call this a live coding topic. Okay. I keep it for free partitions. It's not really the point here. And then I will commit the change directly to main. I will do a push. Okay. And by doing a push, I should trigger my GitHub action. I can say, Hey, I added a new topic. Okay. I commit the change. There we go. And um, let's take a look at our action. We should see here, hey, something is happening. So we can see here we have a Terraform deploy. Let me click on that and I can have all the details. So here it's retrieving my previous state to say, hey, what needs to be done? Okay. It will do a lot of stuff. It will do a plan, etc. Let me see. And there we go initialized and here it say, Hey, I see that you added this topic, just one to add. Let me do it. Okay. And he do a Terraform apply. And in a few seconds, we should be good. Look at this job completed. Awesome. And if I go here on my Ivan console, look at this, you can see that I have now a new uh, topic. Okay. So basically I can manage my infrastructure using Terraform and using GitHub. I just push my changes. It just performed. It, it just reproduced uh, on the infra insight, infra site, site, sorry. Okay. Um, that's all for me. Um, again, I will share the repo so you can play with it. Okay. Uh, there's even some instructions there. So everything, oh, sorry, <laughs> there we go. So everything that I told you, you can see that also here in my, in the readme to reproduce it. So in this video, I showed you how to combine Terraform and GitHub actions. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and have a nice day. Bye-bye.